I heard someone write me yeah. and asked me a question about Tyler Perry's mm. comedy skits. Mm. Go ahead, brother. Give me the book of Deuteronomy. In Deuteronomy chapter 22 and at verse 5. Amen. Go ahead, man. See, me personally, I don't care who you are. No. You can sue me. I ain't got nothing to give you. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, man. God. God. And entertainment don't mix. That's right. Let me say it again. God and entertainment don't mix. That's right. If you knew the Bible, you would not buy a ticket to see such garbage. That's right. But again, we are ignorant church going Bible carrying suckers. Oh, yes. Let's see what God says mm -hmm. about this madness. In Deuteronomy chapter 22 and at verse 5. Listen. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. You got women getting dressed up like men. Yeah. Right. Want to wear pants like a man? Yeah. If you don't know no better woman, I don't blame you. Mm -hmm. It's only because you don't have no teaching. That's right. But you want to wear low ride jeans? Showing where your backside begins, yeah, and a thong hanging out of that, amen, with a tattoo over the separation of your backside. <laughs> Go ahead. With no shame. No shame. You want to wear a skirt or a dress shorter than my jacket? Oh yeah. With no shame. That's right. You want to put a tattoo on your breast? Mm -hmm. And then wear something low to show your cleavage. Yeah. Then when a the man look at your breasts and sisters, you want to get angry, then, then cover up your turkey. That's right. You're going to show it. Show and then want to get upset when a man look at it. That's right. What you showing so much of it for? Amen. And you men who want to get upset with other men because they looking at your woman. Yeah. Don't get upset with him. You get upset with her. You let her come out half naked. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. The book says, The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What else? Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. God said for a man, don't put on woman's clothes. How did God feel about a man putting on women's clothes? For all that do so. No, they're a movie star. All that do so. Democrat. All that do so. Republican. All that do so. Sinner. All that do so. Entertainer. All that do so. Musician. All that do so. They're putting on a play. All that do so. All that do it. Are abomination. Unto the Lord thy God. Tyler Perry is committing abomination. abomination. That's right. All that do so. Go ahead. Go ahead. A grown man. Mm. Preach it, brother. Put on a wig to look like a woman. That's right. Fake breasts to look like a woman. That's right. Fake hips to look like a woman. Amen. All that do so. Make mockery. Mm. And if you look at all his plays and movies, they always sent around somebody getting a new man and remarrying while the first wife or Still first living. husband is living. In other words, condoning divorce and justifying adultery. That's right. That's right. Amen. Why he run around like a woman, committing every time he step his feet in those stockings. My Lord. He's pulling up. Go, abomination. Abomination. That's right. Every time he put on that fake woman suit. Go ahead. He's putting on. Abomination. Abomination. Yeah. Every time his makeup artist paint his lips. Yeah. Abomination, abomination on his mouth. Right. Fake eyelashes. That's right. Abomination. That's right. Powder puff. Amen. Abomination. Yes. Slap the wig on. Abomination. Abomination. God said, 
All Everybody that do so. That do it. All that do so. Talk to me. Are abomination. All that Hallelujah. do so. All that do so. God said it. All that do so. When movie stars, mm. men, yes. get dressed like women. Go ahead. It's an abomination. abomination. You become rich mm. by blasphemy. That's right. And when you pay tickets to see it and you know what's going oh, on, you are contributing to blasphemy. That's right. When you buy a DVD and you know what's on there, you contribute to blasphemy. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Not he that doeth the wrong. Go ahead. But he that have pleasure. Them that do it. And them that do it. What's funny about a grown man dressed like a woman? Amen. Abomination. Since when did abomination. Abomination. abomination become a joke? That's right. You can be damned for such. Go ahead. Go ahead. But because the Bible now has become a book of jokes. That's true. The devil know how to turn the minds of people. That's right. Make the Bible a book of jokes. That's right. So now stand up comedians. Crack jokes, crack jokes about, about the Bible. That's right. Everybody falling out laughing. Laughing. But the great judge is coming. Yes. Who's going to laugh? Go ahead. When the judge comes. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Won't be funny then. Won't be funny. When one foot is on the clouds. Yes. And the other is on the sea. That's right. And he tell the wind, stand still. Yes. The day of the Lord Go ahead. will come. It's, it's coming. It's All coming. the fun mm. is going out of the earth. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Amen. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. This is God talking. That's right. Not Geno Jennings. No. Why would you want your son see a man dressed like a woman? Go ahead. Why would you want your baby See a man dressed like a woman. Go ahead. That's planting a subliminal message in their mind. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Next thing you know, you got your little son mm -hmm. putting on your shoes yeah. and your wig. Mm -hmm. Look, mommy, Look I'm, mommy, I'm Tyler Perry. That's right. Dang, cute. Go ahead. He can grow up and become a cross dresser. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, man. Then I tell you God's way. Go ahead. It's not like ours. Not like ours. Go ahead. What's funny to us? Yes. It's a cuss to God eyes. Amen. What's a joke to us? Yes. It's abomination, abomination. to God. That's right. When a man in Hollywood mm. get dressed like a woman, mm. it's an abomination. Abomination. Your children don't get in school plays. Right. Where the boy get dressed like a girl. That's right. Or the girl get dressed like a boy. Amen. Or put on, or the girl put on boy's apparel, or the boy put on girl's apparel. No! That's right. If you don't dress your children like that at home, don't you dare let some cheap school district dress them up like that to entertain them. Go ahead. This is old-fashioned preaching. Oh, yeah. Mm. There is a way. Is a way. Which seemeth right unto a man. And you know what people will say? Pastor Genesis is too radical. And fools make a mock at sin. Do you hear this? In Proverbs 14 and verse 9. Proverbs 14 and 9 says, Fools what, make a mock. Who do it? Fools. Who? Fools. Who? Fools. But they're millionaires. Fools. They got Emmys. Fools. Grammy. Fools. Made five million that year. Fools. Got a Bentley. Fools. Maybach. Fools. Rolls. Fools. Ferrari. Fools. Porsche. Fools. Got a mansion. Fools. Yacht. Fools. 
on Time Magazine. Fools. In Forbes. Fools. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Got a Swiss bank account. Fools. Bank account when it came in Ireland. Fools. In the Bahamas. Fools. They white. Fools. Black. Fools. Brown. Fools. Yellow. Fools. Short. Fools. Fat. Fools. Tall. Fools. That's right. Amen. Amen. Oh, yeah. Mm. Regardless that this is in the Bible, mm. you know what the arrogance say? Mm -hmm. I don't see nothing wrong with it. That's, that's just his interpretation. <laughs> that's right. That's what they'll say. How much plainer is it written? Amen. Read Deuteronomy again. Back in Deuteronomy 22 and 5. How the much plainer is it written? The woman shall it's not. It's just as plain as when our parents told us, if I got to talk to you again, I'm going to beat your behind. That's right. We didn't go to our mother and father and say, please explain that to us. <laughs> That's right. Will you please let us, what is that revelation? What does that mean? That's right. We understood it right away. Right away. So when people hear scriptures that hit them right to the heart, right then we become a volunteer nut. <laughs> That's right. Right then we just, oh, I, I, I don't understand that. Don't understand that that really didn't mean that. So you got to read between the lines. <laughs> That's right. Do you hear? In Deuteronomy 22 and 5, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What is that you don't get? Mm -hmm. You don't go putting on your husband's clothes. That's it. That's it. What is it you don't get about that? That's right. What else? Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. What man don't understand that? Raise your hand. Hmm. What man in here don't know what it means not to put on the clothes of a, woman? of a woman? What man don't understand it? Raise your hand and show your ignorance and embarrass yourself. <laughs> That's right. Come on. Go because ahead. I want the camera to zoom in on you. <laughs> huh? Amen. Can you imagine Pastor Jennings come up one day in a meeting in a large crowd like this no. and I come from the side door on with my wife pumps and her hat and, and, and her skirt or dress and got her pocketbook coming up. My Lord. Dan may be up speaking French. A new song, Noga Juggle Creed. <laughs> The moment he see me, a new, a new show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. That's right. Could you blame him? No. Now, if I came in like that, some of you is so ignorant, you still will follow me. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Some of you is just that dumb, you still will follow me. That's right. Still follow you. I wouldn't follow myself. Because right then, that means get away from that man. Right then. That's right. Right then. I say that to show you how ignorant the human family has become. God has spoken. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. You don't ignore God for entertainment. That's right. Go ahead, man. The Lord says, I'm coming as a thief in the night. Yes. What thief calls you when he comes? Right. He just come. That's, that's right. You may be sitting up at one of them plays, falling out laughing. Falling out. All of a sudden, all this commotion is in the streets. Mm. And you come out and look up, there's God. Yes. And all these trillions of bodies is defying gravitational pull. Yeah. Coming up out of the graves. Some graves that buildings are built upon. That's right. But you was at the wrong place at the wrong time, watching the wrong thing, yeah. having fun, having indulging fun. in the wrong event. The Lord said, That's right. be ye also ready. Also ready. For me to be ready, I got to take my soul sincerely. That's right. 